right, it's time. We've been hyping it up all week. It's our game of the week, and it's a rivalry, so you know you can expect the best out of both teams. We've got the Ozark Hillbillies looking to go into Boonville to knock off the 3A state champion Bearcats. I know Scott's been looking forward to this one. Let's see how they did Ozark ball in their own territory on the first play of the drive. Brogan Brasso gets tackled, and the ball comes out. Seeing a lot of that tonight. Bearcats doing Todd is there for the scoop. There it is, and scores six points. After that, Boonville up 10-0. Ozark with the ball again. Kobe Wilbanks tanks it and heads to the outside, and he's going to go all the way down just outside so he doesn't score, which sets up Will Banks, the keeper. He finishes what he started, three yards into the end zone. Touchdown. Ozark down three now. Boonville ball, though, at the Ozark 35. Jace Washburn finds Clint Osborne all by himself, and he takes it in after the extra point. Bearcats up 10. Ozark makes it close in the second quarter yet again to cut the lead to three. But the Bearcats on that high octane, good gasoline in the second half, they pull away to win 31-14. And now for more on our game of the week, let's send it out to Robin Hearn. Robin. A little bit of back and forth in the first quarter, but then the Boonville Bearcats proved why they went all the way last year from turnovers to dominant drives. They kept their foot on the gas pedal all night long. And as for the Ozark Hillbillies, well, a tough loss in one of their key players made this one a little bit tougher. The Bearcats proved that in the Ozarks first drive of the game, recovering a fumble at their own 48, Boonville would only get a field goal from it, but it started a trend. After that, the Bearcats first touchdown of the game would come from a fumble in the Hillbillies territory, and then they would get a few more turnovers, keep themselves in control. The positive for the Ozarks was their quarterback, Kobe Wilbanks. He scored both of the Hillbillies first two touchdowns, but then got hurt early on in the second quarter, and the ball will be in the hands of sophomore Cape Cap, but then nothing could really get started after that, but the Bearcats would score on their first drive of the second half. And here is what Boonville's head coach had to say following tonight's win. Uh, you know, we didn't come out as uh, and play as well as we did last week, but uh, in a rivalry game, you know, you're going to get everybody's best shot. And our kids, uh, when they needed to, stepped up and made some big plays. 2 0 start for the Boonville Bearcats to start off the 2024 season. Now they're going to head on the road for the first time of this season and take on Paris next week. For now, in Boonville, Robin Hearn, 5 News Sports. Thank you, Robin. That's going to be it for week one. We'll see you right back here in seven days for another great Football Friday night.